another garage maintenance project. So we have a uh, well water and we've got a whole house filtration system set up on it. What you're looking at is our chlorine injector and the, uh, the pump. Um, I refilled the tank a month ago. It usually lasts about a month and we've only used about 10 gallons. So somewhere in here is a failure. We have I got the Pelican whole home filtration system and today we're disassembling the chemical feed injector. Had a failure in the backflow preventer down below here. I'm going to show you how to disassemble the entire unit and then reassemble it. First thing you do, take off the bottom hose. There are multiple sets of these locking nuts on here. First one is just for the feed hose. And it just pops right off. Next one holds the actual backflow valve in and is pretty tight fit with all the o-rings that are in there. But this one's the good one. As you can see, the spring is still intact. This one is the old one. The spring is all disintegrated inside there. There's a locking nut for your adjustment. Nozzle. Remove the C-clip. Pull off your adjusting nozzle. Another locking nut. And this whole piece pops out. Go to the waterfall. And I replaced that o-ring. This piece pops up. Replace another o-ring. And then slides back down in there. After it gets cleaned up, of course. Everything should put together. Very snug. plunger for the top. Release any pressure left on top. Of course the bottom's gone so there isn't any. This just screws off. And a lot of seals in there. There we go. That all comes out with a nice flood of water. There's the actual pump assembly, bell housing. I already replaced this ring. This one appears to be okay. Replace the O-ring on the plunger. Plunger comes out with an easy 90 degree turn. And then we reassemble after replacing all the parts. So it seems like my battery died somewhere on the disassembly. So here's the reassembly. I'm going to clean these things up with just a little bit while I reassemble. Not that it'll make a huge difference, but this ring should. Should spin off. Nice quarter spin. One direction or another. Maybe. So there was a tiny little notch down in that one. 
don't know if you can see that, but I had to loosen that. And should just pop off now. One part off. New part on. Find that notch back. Little notch. Little notch. Half done, o ring seal in. Next o ring is this one. Pull that one off. Install that, make sure the numbers you measure by are facing you. Line up the slots. A little tighter with those new O-rings. Place that locking clamp. Remember, hand tight. Clean this up. Install the adjustment knob. Right there. Put that C clip back in. Alright, 
So I'm gonna put the new backflow preventer in first. That just pops right in there. Locking nut for your dosing knob. nut for the back flow. Cut off just the end. And tighten on the feed hose. back on checking for leaks Turn some water and make sure it's working. Okay, that nice big click. See the water coming up from the chemical feed tank. Alright, looks like we're back to operational. It's been another episode of Daniel's Garage. Stay tuned for more projects, more fixes, more repairs, more fun stuff.